You know, I've been uh, touring around with the great, got to say, great man Brett Oaks. Every time you come in, doing a stand-up I'm, show. I said to you years ago, mm. this is a, a oh, reality yeah, show. Follow me around. If you had to take my advice then, you would have eight episodes of something incredible. Yeah, I know, but you got to get someone to follow you around the camera. It's all right. I did a thing the other day that you did. The two guys from Swag on the Beat. Oh, you did Swag on the Beat? Yeah, I met them Met them up in when I was staying at Mick Fanning's house when I stepped in his bedroom. Did I tell you that? I think I told you 14 uh, times. I met them and they came over one night and we hung out and we talked about comedy and they said, would you mind doing being one of our sketches? And I said, it's going to cost you. You realise who I am. Uh, no, and I did a sketch with them and they just shot incredible stuff on there. They all be it an iPhone 15 or something. Yeah, yeah. No microphones. Is this out yet, Swag on the Beat? or The one that I did? Yeah. Uh, no, I, uh, not that I know of. But Isaac. They, they hang around this Isaac pub sometimes. and Jack. And Jack. Jack hangs talked around the pub. Talked about you, and they talked about things that you've given them advice and stuff. And I'm like reckon, a mentor. You, do you reckon? That's good advice. Watch this. I must admit, I got so excited to talk about sketch comedy, I was boring myself. Seriously. They were so kind. Yeah, Jack comes to the comedy nights here, and his mum comes along. And they, they said they want to get on television. They've already got a huge following huge. on Instagram. They did a national tour. I went, I went along with the kids. And... They have international recognition. They do very good at Eshe. He does um, Eshe Bra, which is like a bogan kind of character. Oh, okay. Really funny. And they, have they performed here? They've been before, yeah. They're, they they're doing nice a sellout around the country. I know. And this just goes to show, number one, people love make-believe, people love sketches, people love funny, and people, you don't have to be on the TV to be a huge success. There's heaps of examples. Like Luke, is it? Yeah, Luke Kidgel's another one who's done here before. But he got huge on YouTube, and he, he does like theatres, like... Heaps I know. Of, it's I mean, amazing. And back in the day, it was always about TV. We, well, we couldn't get on anywhere else. I did public radio. So that's how we, you know, mm, got our stuff out Good there. luck to you. Anyway, what were you going to say? Oh, so I was on tour. <laughs> <laughs> did something and, happen? Well, this is my new joke when I go to a coastal area. I get yes. up and I say, um, oh, I had a great day. I went to, you know, the bar beach in uh, Marimbula. Yep. It's a beautiful beach. I said, I went to your bar beach. I'm... I've got to say, Ron, that's a great nudist beach. A bit of tittering in the crowd. And I go, what is it? Oh, gee, no wonder the kids were shocked. It's a classic. Anyway, I was mistaken for a celebrity, right? So what? what? No, no, no. This is is a bit weird. No, you've got to try and guess. Okay, I'll I'll, I'll lay out the scene for you. Brad Oaks is on the tour with me, right? Does a master class during the day for people that want to be comedians. Oh, that is that would be if you're in town. If he's in town, he's, listen up, get your pens he's, out. He's an expert. He's got a good teacher too. He's fantastic, and he articulates it really well, and he's funny, and he's smart. Yeah, so he's just in the hall in Marimbula during the day. He's only got two students, and they're a married couple, so that's a bit awkward. Oh, it's <laughs> anyway. a threesome. <laughs> They are nice people. And Brad said, look, I'll do an hour. And if you could come down after an hour and, and you- Do an hour of what? Teaching. Oh, yeah, right. And then you, and then you come down and answer some questions and that. I said, yeah, I'll turn. I had to go from a swim. And I said, I'll be here in a back. Because you hour. swim. I've got you onto swimming wherever you go. Yeah, Get yeah, on the yeah. saltwater therapy. I love it. Yeah. I love it. How'd you swim? Went down oh, there. What happened? Beautiful. Anyway, I come back and I walk into the hall and there's Brad with these two students. And he goes, oh, my God, we-, we th- we just thought you were here before because uh, we were sitting uh, in the guess? hall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were sitting in the hall, right? Yeah. Then a guy walked in, looked like you, looked at us, and then kept walking and went out the other door, and it was someone famous. And they, apparently they look a bit like me. Who was it in Marimbula oh, last week? Thursday. Norm from the cartoon in the old days. <laughs> What's <laughs> his name? Life in it. Life in it. You were the, you're the life, life inflatable version. Uh, no, it's got to be Shane Jacobson. No! He's who got a beard. Do, who, do you, who do you look like? Who, well, who, who do I look? You know this guy, and you're very good friends with his friend. I say one of his best friends. You're very good friends with him. It's not Sam Pang. No. No, no. Sam Pang. Nick Malloy. Like no. Oh, I thought I had it then. No. Uh, oh, this is okay. Uh, um, got another clue. Yeah. So he's not a comedian. <laughs> but do, a do you reckon of, people at home have worked it out who it is? No, I mean, maybe. No, you're with you, me then. You're on my side. Maybe okay. if you're from that area, you know that this guy lives up there now. But he's, he's up there now. Yeah, he's a bit of a. You'd say he's a double threat because he does two things. He, he can. What? He can what? Well, he can act and he can sing. And you know him. You know his mate. I know him and I know him. He he, you can play act. golf with his mate. His mate who talks a lot. I know who it is. Who is it? Frank Holden. Yeah. Do I look a bit like Frankie J? Maybe, See my hair, maybe. So maybe the, the way you carry yourself. Yeah. Uh, no disrespect to you. He he look, he's pretty fit. 
And, oh, uh, is he? And he's very tanned. He lives up that way. Yeah. He just sold his caravan park. That's right. He had a caravan I park. I saw him at John Blackman's funeral. Right. And we were chatting. Yes. He was very happy and very well. I saw him in, in Bloom, Tom Gleisner's musical. So you look a bit like Frankie J. Yeah, Holden. Who was with, of course, Old 55. Get a job. Currently Sha-na-na. works with Wilbur. Oh, no, he used to work with Wilbur. Wilbur. No, that's Wilbur. what yeah. I was trying to say. Yeah, that's Wilbur's Wilbur. Mate. Yeah, Wilbur Wilde, who I play golf with. They don't work together as much now, but they used to do a lot of stuff with Carol's My Candle oh, Cruise and, ships. Yeah, he used to do a lot yeah. of stuff together. They were, yeah. uh, And he can work a room. They both can really work a room. Yeah. Oh, there you go. So, Frankie uh, J. I didn't meet him. I, I never saw him. So he, there. this was in Marimbula. He, Maybe he was a ghost. He just walked up the back of the hall and then disappeared through a door. But let me get this right. Was it actually Frankie J? Yes, it was because he's the chairman of the theatre or something. Ah, it's got so something to it was do with him. It. And they thought, when they saw Frankie, they went, there me. goes Dave O'Neill. Ignoring us. So how would Frankie feel about being mistaken for you? <laughs> Not good, probably. No, no, nothing wrong with I, I, I was mistaken uh, for Dave O'Neill. I mean, probably the, one of the best comedians in Australian history. What, oh, yeah. What would you yell out to him if you saw him on the street? Get a job? Get a job. He was in a show with Eric Banner. Oh. He played the barman. Oh. But just before Eric went to live in the US, ABC show, and is set in a little town. He's a good actor. He's a very good actor. And he's oh, done a lot of heavy hitting dramatic stuff. What was the name of that show? I'll, th- I'll think of that show because there are a few people were in. I think Damien Callan was in that show too. That sounds right. And, 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 um, and Eric Banner was replaced by Vince Colosimo. Really? I and think. then Eric went to the US on the back of Chopper. Chopper. Which I advised him not to do. You said stay don't on do show. Chopper. Stay yeah, on stay that, that show. show. The one that's on. It was a six thirty at night show. It was yeah. like a drama for half an hour. It was like Coronation Street. Not, not. Yeah. Like, but it was one of those. Yeah. yeah. And it was oh, oh, something no, street. Don't make people in the no, air. No, something a, in the air. Something in the air. I think that's it. Something in the air. It is something in the air. Is it? Because that's in why the air? People, that's what you say when you go to. I like it up here because there's something in the air. There's something in the air. You got it. Oh, you, play that music, fire. Sam. You are on fire. Play the music. I am. Welcome to Somehow Related Now. Please welcome your hosts, Glenn Robbins and Dave O'Neill. Well, well people are doing go. doing two things. One of either. They're either Googling. going, wow, who cares? Or they're going, that's a really impressive get from you. But it was a pretty mm. impressive get from you. You'd be good on trivia nights. It just came to me. Oh, yeah. This happened in the last episode. You have this ability to think and talk. I can't even think at all. No, you can think. I, I can think, but it's just getting harder. It can you know, get harder. The medication yeah. I'm on is making me give me a foggy brain know. or something. Some Zigfloft you know, or something. Yeah, really that's, cool. but it's that bloody injection that we have to get all the time. <laughs> is it the one that you you recommend? The vaccine. You, yeah, you said yeah. don't get it. I, I, mean, I yeah. said get it, get it, and uh, get extra. <laughs> Top um, yourself up. So here we are well, on somehow related. We got we got two topics, and we're going to. Yeah, and you've said to me a couple of times that that people are coming up to you. Oh yeah. And met, met some in Canberra. But at what point do you go, oh, well, we must have a few fans up here. Is it one person coming up to you? Is uh, it a couple of people? You're going, because I, I think if one person comes up to you and says, love the podcast, mm. I reckon that counts for a lot. Yeah. No, I had a, I had twin sisters and their brother, Jeremy. I can never remember the name of the girls. Well, women. did you bring up that you were a twin? Oh, Absolutely. And did you go? Uh, they knew that. They knew that. Oh, they knew that. They so knew they, that. they knew, you know, they, they, you understand our suffering. The identical twin thing. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. They were lovely. That was a question in uh, Have You Been Paying Attention, which I did, which was on the first identical qu- twins are in the Olympics. Oh, so really? Playing badminton. Oh, wow. Yeah, there's something for nothing. There you go. Didn't know that. Yeah. It'd be caught- confusing for the opposition. Well, it would be. Oh, my God. What they should do is they should do singles. Yeah, just keep substituting. No, just go out to the toilet. And have mm. the other one come in who's fresh. Very similar when Glenn, we both worked at the hot dog shop and I got fired. Yes. yes. He said I was stealing the rolls when I was, in fact, eating them. Yep, yep. Glenn got a full-time job and uh, I went back as him. And Dudley Dudley didn't know, but his wife was on to me. She kept saying, that's the guy you sacked. And I go, no, that's my brother, that feeding brother of mine. That's that movie, The Prestige. Yeah, Spoiler dude. alert, that's a great movie. You seen that? No. You haven't seen it? No. About the magician in London. I've heard about that. That's great. It was a long time ago. Hugh Jackman. But that is twins. That's the number, that's the first trick that magicians do. When they go boom, they go look. He's disappeared on stage, and then they go look up at the back of the audience. Yeah. The other guy stands up. You're going. How did he get from there than there? And the box didn't move because it's a twin. <laughs> Don't ruin the magic. 
But, uh, you know, I yell it out now. Twins. Twins. Mirrors. Well, that'd be all right for me and Glenn, but I'll, Glenn will be in the box and I'll pop up in the crowd and go, she's put on 30 kilos. <laughs> What the hell was in that tunnel? What was he doing while he was getting up the... Yeah, he's eating a lot to get in a few dim sims. The buffet. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's go to topics. We've got to get... we get two topics. got to work out how they're related. It's a yeah. pretty straightforward process. Yeah, somehow yeah. they are. Somehow they're related. Mm. All right, what are they, Sam? The Adams Family and Godzilla. Oh, dun 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 Great song, mm. yeah. I've got a routine I, about I, that. I'll do it at the end. Back in the, the day. The creepy and the kooky. <laughs> a serious it's a spooky. It's a great yeah, intro yeah, song. Yeah, yeah. The Adams Family. No, 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 the no. house is a museum. Oh. When people come to see him, they really are a scream. The yeah, Adams, Adams Family. No, 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 no. It's a great I song. I reckon part of the success of that show was due to that song. No, I reckon it was, it was successful because it was like joining a club. We didn't think they were kooky because we liked them and knew them. Yeah. But everyone came around to the house. The normal people go, oh, these people are a bit wacky. But, you know, we, we like it. Okay, let's go through the characters. It. Gomez. Gomez is the dad. Wednesday. Which the daughter. Which is a series now. That's Pugsley. good. Pugsley. on Wednesday. Is it good, is it? Good oh. series. Yeah, it's not bad. I heard someone talking about it the other day. I didn't mind it. Yeah. I watched a few episodes. Pugsley? Yeah, the kid. The kid. What was the wife's name? Morticia? No, oh, she was great. Yeah, yeah. Morticia. Uh, then there was... L- you rang. Oh, Lurch. yeah, Lurch. Yeah. He was great. Cousin... Cousin It. it. The Uncle hand. Fester. Uncle Fester was the ball one. Cousin and he'd hold on to a light and it'd, it'd light up. And It was just the hand, wasn't it? I thought It was the thing with all hair all over it. Oh, it was too. Sorry. That's, That's a pretty good impression of him. Yeah, it's pretty it? good. I like Lurch. And everyone knew what it, it was saying, yeah. except for us. Yeah. And Thing would come out of the box yeah. and do what? Just grab stuff, maybe? He'd present he? stuff. He'd just bring stuff in. I don't know. Um, I haven't seen an episode for a long what, time. No, me either, but they did make it into a movie, and I can't remember who started the, the movie. So all these characters... Christiana would, Ricky was Wednesday. Yeah, Christiana they Ricky would, was people Wednesday. would know who we're talking about, because I haven't seen the movie, but I would imagine all the same characters are there. Yeah. and The look, movie was quite successful. You liked Lurch. I thought he was funny, Lurch, yeah. But did he have any dialogue? Did he? I can't remember. You were wrong. And it was always like intimidating for people yeah. to see Lurch, because he... And the Munsters was like a similar show. Remember well, it was, I reckon it had to be born of the Adams family. Yeah, they tried definitely. to do it. It's like it's like Channel Nine was doing something. Then Channel Seven thought we'll have one of those plays. Yeah. The Munsters wasn't bad. It wasn't as good as the Adams family. No, they were. It was a little forced. Oh. It was like a Frankenstein, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, you, you get, uh, That's uh, right. Uh, 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 um, get upset, wouldn't he? It was black and white. The Adams family, wasn't it? Yeah, black and white. Was it intentionally black and white? Yeah, to make it more gothic. Or was it? Was it pre-colour? I think it was pre-colour. And then it probably... Do you know... I don't know whether it's true or not, but the tree in the front of the Adams family house was a tree turned upside down. So that it, what you're seeing is the roots. Oh, really? To make it look spooky. Now, whether that's you know, wow. true or not. I remember going, um, how would you turn a tree upside down? That's quite hard. Well, but it anyway. started off as a cartoon in the New Yorker. Yes. Which I subscribe to, which I haven't got for a while. Uh, yeah. You I were going imagine. to bring me some in. To oh, re- and you I haven't bought you any. Yeah, yeah, I haven't got any for a long time. Yeah. Maybe my subscription has lapsed. It would be a what's the name cartoon? What do you yeah, call it? Like just, just like one panel, kind yeah. of just like yeah. a one panel yeah. thing. Would have been the sixties, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would have been the sixties. Yeah, mm-hmm. you probably see it on YouTube, obviously. Well, yeah. Oh, yeah. I reckon. You know what? I reckon it would stand up. I reckon it'd be all right. And okay, here we go. What did Gomez say to her, his wife, Morticia, Morticia, to make her feel sexy? You're very. He speak French. Oh, oh that's yeah. right. My bubula. He would call it Bubbler. Yeah. yeah. And then, what was his pastime? I can't remember. Train set? That's right. And he would blow it up. Yes. He would blow up the he train set, and with much satisfaction, they would stand and they'd blow it up every every episode almost. Mm. Oh, and there was a beautiful daughter who was normal. Oh, you could remember. Yeah, I don't know. I can't remember. I remember Wednesday. but Wednesday, but there was one. I'm, or am I thinking of the Munsters? Don't know. Maybe the Munsters had a beautiful daughter that was normal. Yeah, right. I'm getting up my my weird families mixed up. Mm. I could be. I think I'm. I think I'm actually right. I think it was the Munsters. When you think about it, it's kind of an unusual show, wasn't it? I don't know if they'd make it these days. Well, how would you pitch? I mean, even these days, he wouldn't make it. Also, too, back in those days, how do you pitch that show? Well, it's like a. Well, I suppose it was based on something that was already kind of established. Is it kind of gothic? Yeah, it's gothic. Absolutely, yeah. it's gothic. Yeah. Yeah, so therefore, that's the pitch. This so the mother was very gothic. Yeah. Yeah. And the daughter was too? Wednesday was gothic. Pugsley was just a little... Yeah. 
He wasn't that coffee. He didn't do that much, did he? No, no. So I, I would say because it was already an existing thing in the in the New Yorker, they went, "Oh yeah, we know that. Oh, we get it. We right. get it." Yeah, so it would make sense that we we, we, if we were to make a TV it. show off this podcast. People would go, "Oh yeah, yeah, we know this podcast." Oh, I do know that. Who was the actor? Coogan. Which one's that? He was Uncle Fester. Oh yeah. And Coogan, who did he work with? Was he? Did he work with the Three Stooges or something? Or did he, oh, yeah. He yeah. goes way back. To, he, had, he had very good comedy he, heritage. Anyway, yeah, right. Yeah, anyway. Um, I'm not sure he, what else we can really he say. He was about. funny, though. Uncle Fester was funny by memory. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but, I, you know, when it, it, like when things like that come along, they become kind of hip. And at that time, because I remember when the younger ones started, I remember when Monty Python started, mm. at first people didn't understand it, and they went, oh, this is hip. Yeah. And I reckon the young Monty ones, the young ones were, yeah, Monty Python was like that. I reckon mm. the Adams family was a bit like having said that it was on at like 4:30 in the afternoon we watched it after school. Yeah, it yeah. It was never on at night. It's like the Brady Bunch yeah. or something. So you'd sit down on lie on the floor with your what would yeah. you eat? You'd have some, maybe some cereal, uh, cereal, lie on the floor and Toast. watch the Adams family. Oh yeah. And don't spoil your dinner and you'd get all the jokes. And there there was like an accountant who came around or something. That's right. Yeah. Oh, boy. But nothing much happened out no, in the- No, inside the house. It was all in the house, wasn't it? It had a laugh track, didn't it? I had yes. people laughing. Yes. You know. All right. Well, let's let's talk about Godzilla. Godzilla's Japanese, yeah? So, he's that big- Is that also a cartoon? It, was, it would have been a cartoon, but it was like a light, It was like an action kind of puppet, it would have been, probably, originally, wasn't it? It is was it cartoon a, as well. Is it a- it, it's, it's Japanese. A, it's a monster. It's not a dinosaur. It's a monster, but looks like a dinosaur. It's, uh, like a it's, t- got, it's got a little head. Yeah. And what does it do? It crashes buildings and attacks people, doesn't it? I've never seen it. No, I've seen it I've seen it in shorts and uh, like uh, trailers and stuff and ads and whatever for uh, it. But I've never seen a I've never sat through a Godzilla movie. No. But it just seems to destroy cities. I'm gonna say this. Is it a goodie or a baddie? It's a baddie. I think Godzilla's bad. He's always versus someone. The latest one was Kong, Godzilla versus Kong. So the the weaponry he had was to stomp on things and whack his tail on things? Nah, uh, I think he breathed Oh did fire. he have a th- did he have things firing out of his mouth? Yeah he breathed fire, didn't he? Ah <sighs> <laughs> yeah, I think he did. Was he a copy of something? I think it was Japanese comics or something. So probably. did did that sort of thing start with Godzilla? Is he one of the first ones? Probably. Yeah, that kind of magna kind Is of stuff. Sort of the. I mean, I think dragons were the first, really, weren't they? Yeah, he was like. A, Maybe it's yeah. a Japanese version. They they go. We want one of those. One of those dragons. Dragons. We'll, we'll make one up. Um, and they had Godzilla. Well, I'm not a huge fan of dragons. You're not either, are you? Yes, you are. You watch your bloody little kid. Game of Thrones. You watch Game of Thrones. Yeah, yeah but I didn't watch House of Dragons. Nah. I mean, that's it, a spin off. Yeah, I mean, I've got to say, anytime you put a dragon there, you've run out of ideas. Because that's, that's all you could. I think I prefer Puff the Magic Dragon. <laughs> well, Puff that me, the man. Magic Dragon. <laughs> Remember when the music teacher would sing that? Oh, Lives man. by the Don't, sea. Like, but he was a happy dragon. Yeah. Puff. Yeah. He wasn't angry like all these other dragons. Um, is it true that um, that Godzilla mm. never ate a human being? Oh, doesn't he? Just, he throws them around, though. Throws them around, yes. But I don't think he ever ate a human. Maybe he ate one and had a bad one. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm never going to eat one of those. <laughs> like again. a blueberry. Oh, that's a bit mouldy. Maybe he ate a human. Say the Gonz- all the Godzillas, because probably a few Godzillas. They got together and they got uh, just a bit of a tip. Don't mm. eat humans. Well. Because they eat junk food and they eat that bad ima- food. Imagine the monster convention and he turns up. Okay, I know we've done this before. There was King Kong. Yeah, there's King Godzilla. Kong. Yep. Yeah. There's Frankenstein. Okay, how wide can we go on what they would be? Okay, so we'll say a dragon's in there. Yeah. We'll say King Kong's in yeah. there. Yeah. Uh, would we say uh, Jaws is not in there? Jaws would Jaws make it? No, probably not. He's not a monster. Different, different genre. Okay. The Yeti or Bigfoot? Yeah. What about Absolutely. a, a saber tooth tiger from Disney? Would that Would nah. that get in there? What about Alien? That thing. Is that where that fit in? You know, the alien that got on board the, you know, the oh, movie yeah, alien? alien. Yeah, it's scary. Yeah. Well, Frankenstein, Dracula, any sort of monster. Is, what's monster. Shrek? Yeah, Shrek could be there. He'd be all jolly at the bar. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Sigourney, yeah. Shrek's here. <laughs> Jack and the Beanstalk? Nah. Yeah, you're pretty tough on your, on nah. your what he'd get through. Well, okay. maybe the monster from the Beanstalk. Yeah, that's absolutely. What I'm not, not Jack. What about Loch Ness? Yes, definitely there. Loch Ness would get through. Definitely there. But I reckon Godzilla will make a big entrance and like step on Shrek. Sorry. <laughs> step on Shrek. You're stepping on me. Stop stepping on me. <laughs> so that's the thing, isn't it? I mean, do we need it? Because now God, you what need, they're you doing. You need a big conference center, though. He's a big boy. Oh, they would. 
They need a high ceiling. They probably have to bring them in on those ones, like in Jurassic Park, in the, in, inside yeah. a cage, because there'd be trouble get there'd yeah. be trouble getting them from the car park inside. Well, the also, they'd, they'd, you know, there'd be a bit of fighting. I reckon they'd be throwing the yeti around, and and then when the food came out, they'd be they'd all start hitting each yeah. other, they'd start hassling, <laughs> and then and someone like King Kong, I reckon he'd be into the beers. Yes, know, and he'd get a bit pissed and a bit pushy. Yeah, a bit pushy. Yeah, getting a bit, uh, a bit handsy tough, as well. Mate. A bit handsy. You reckon you know? you're tough? Yeah. 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 Then Godzilla would pick up Loch Ness and try to eat it. That's not the buffet, mate. That's Loch Ness. Oh, be fun. It wouldn't be a good idea. But is the question, who gets respect? Who's number one in that world? Is it oh, King Kong? I reckon King Kong. I think. King I reckon Kong. Godzilla's up there as well. Maybe because of the sheer size of him. The thing about King Kong, there was that human element that he had. That he yeah. had there was a kindness in him. Yeah. I don't think, well, I don't, I don't think there's any good running through the veins no, of Godzilla. No. No. So I reckon I reckon King Kong, crash. they'd sit around King Kong and he'd tell some stories. Yeah. Yeah, I remember the time I grabbed the aer- first time I grabbed an aeroplane. Yeah, we talk about that one. Oh, what, was it like on, what was it like up in the Empire State? You yeah, know? yeah. Look, it was it was pretty scary. I'm going to say it was pretty high, and, and it's not God, easy to do. You try it. And then God's was like, "Well, I smashed up Tokyo." Yeah, yeah. whatever, mate. <laughs> Get over yourself. Whatever. Yeah, but then did we say Jurassic Park dinosaurs? They could be there. See, they. You got to say, you know what would trump mm. King Kong? Right. T Rex. Yeah, a real dinosaur. Surely he's taken on T Rex. I don't think he has. Wow. That's because they've run out of ideas. That's what they do yeah. now. They do Godzilla versus King Kong. Oh, there's heaps of them. I mean, there's heaps. It just doesn't work. It doesn't make sense. Yeah. They're two different worlds. It's weird, isn't it? It's but just, I think it was pretty big. Yeah. Godzilla versus Kong. Should we have some thinking music? Oh, we could have Lurch. No, 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 no. We could have Lurch coming in going, you know. You rang. Yeah. Or we could have a scene. We could have a scene with the r- railway being blown up. We could have a scene from the movie, from the TV. We could have the theme. From right. the Adams family, no, 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 no. Or is there a make? Well, that we could. Could we do a Godzilla? Yeah, yeah. I reckon Godzilla. If he was an actor, yeah. he'd be sick and tired of being stereotyped. So what you're saying is As that Godzilla was found out, and then they put him in the movie. So he no, really exists. Just, okay. just, he'd be angry that he's getting stereotyped in these action, you know, destroying movies all the time. Yes, all destruction. Right. right. So let's have him going to his agent. Yes. Uh, hold on my calls there, uh, Donna. Ari, you have a client here. No, I'm busy. Uh, uh, no, you're not going to be busy because it's Godzilla and would like to see you. Tell him I'm not here. I'm at lunch. I'm at lunch. Okay, I'll try to stop him. He can't see you right now. Oh, oh, oh. I'm coming in. I'm in it. Uh, oh, hi, oh, hi Godzilla. I, I, I haven't got the voice quite right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, uh, okay. Yeah. I'm Godzilla, and I gotta say, I am not happy. Uh, well, you know what? I've just been going through the uh, the receipts of uh, the latest Kong versus Godzilla movie. I gotta say, it's top of the charts. We are making millions of dollars here, uh, Godzilla. That's all right. Where is my Academy Award winning role? Where I play something of heart, of interest, of depth, of character. Oh, you've done, I mean, you know, looking at your movies, we had some great ones. There was, you know, uh, Godzilla versus Mothra, yeah, who yeah. turned out to be a caterpillar. What did I do at the end of that? Yeah, you smashed up yeah, smashed buildings up, and yeah. stuff. Okay. Um, yeah. King Kong versus Godzilla. Yeah, what did I do at the end of that? You smashed up I Tokyo, smashed, I, smashed, I think. Up Godzilla Tokyo. versus Hedorah. Yeah, what did I do at the end of well, that? Well, you yeah. smashed up some stuff. Smashed up some Godzilla stuff. versus Gigan, yeah. Godzilla versus Megalon, yeah. Here's Godzilla my versus Mecha Godzilla. Godzilla. What about it? this one? Godzilla versus Space Godzilla. That was a good one. What happened at the end? Well, you smashed up the space. Yeah, you're seeing a pattern of behavior here that I'm not happy with. All the scripts are coming through. The same thing happens Godzilla every time. versus Megasaurus. Very yeah, good. Okay. Yeah, well, look, don't get me wrong. Godzilla I'm, versus uh, Tokyo. Yeah, look, I, I have I have a nice place up in the Hollywood Hills now. Uh, I'm liking my life. Uh, I've got a nice plenty of room for my tail. I, I can breathe fire. But I want my Academy Award, my legacy that I give to the industry. Well, we hope that Godzilla Planet of the Monsters or Godzilla City on the Edge of the Battle or Godzilla the Planet Eater, we thought that would be your... Your thing, but no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta say, I'm questioning my relationship with you, with the roles oh. you're getting me. Is there anything we can do to turn this? Well, well hang on, I've I've got one that's just come in. Uh, hey, I'm 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 happy to to, to see it. what is it. What is this one? Is it okay. is it a rom- romantic comedy? Yes. Is it a musical? What is it? Yes. You move to a small coastal town. Yes, I love it. Small coastal town in yeah. Ireland. Yeah. Um, you fall in love with the lighthouse keeper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what I'm talking about. But yes. then you get pissed and smash up the town. Yeah. And you Again, throw, you throw the lighthouse in the ocean. <laughs> All right, I've got another one. I got another one. Okay. I got another one. Okay. I got another one. Okay, you 
you heart, you're down on your luck. Yeah, yeah, yeah You're yeah. working as a prostitute. Oh. <laughs> and you meet a rich guy, played by Richard Gere, yeah. who then, who then t- takes you away. And what happens? What happens? And, 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 and then and, we and, fall and, in love and you, madly you, and live, you live, fall live, in love. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I win an Academy then, Award for the best performance. You, you, what happens at the end you, of the well, film? You stay at the hotel. There's a dispute about the charge and you smash up the hotel. <laughs> yeah, you smash up LA. I, I'm so telling you. And you go back to those shops where they judge you for being a prostitute and smash them up too. Ari... Ari. Uh, yeah, hang on, hang on, hang on, Godzilla. Hang on, what's it? Yes. Yeah, Ari, you have someone else here to see you. Okay, who's that? It's King Kong. Oh, my God. Oh, that, that, that. oh don't let him in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, it's smashing up the plane. Fuck. Oh, it should be over Wow, that was that was amazing. It's like a tour de force. Uh, I gotta say, we should get. I wasn't happy with my voice. I, how do you do a Godzilla voice? I don't know. Uh, I mean, that's he's kind of he's Japanese. So yeah, go, oh, I, I was thinking you don't want to. You don't want to be racist. Wanna, I, I don't want to be racist, and you know, but oh. that was the best. Day. With, with oh. the, you know, with a big tail and breathing, his voice would be a little bit croaky. It would be a bit croaky. Yeah. Now, yeah. what is your um, <laughs> attempt at an answer? Godzilla and oh, it's a different countries. Because I reckon Godzilla came first. I reckon the Adams family. There was something about the Godzilla that inspired the Adams family. Oh wow! Yeah, I reckon at, at its core, and I don't, I don't know what that is, but uh, because I reckon the Adams family came in the sixties, I reckon Godzilla came in the fifties. Yeah. Oh, now you know what? Well, maybe like Seinfeld had Superman in every episode of Seinfeld, didn't he? Oh, yeah, he did. Yeah. Maybe there was a little Godzilla doll on the scene in every. Ed- no, that's not very good. One of those two. I think they've got this, the same actor or something in them. There must be an actor that crosses over. Crosses over in the original Adams family and Godzilla. Well, what is the answer, Sam? The actor who played Lurch in the original Adams family was also the voice of Godzilla in the 1960s cartoon. What wow. Lurch was Lurch was Godzilla in the cartoon. Thanks to Rob Caldwell for sending this one in. Oh, Rob's fantastic. Hello, Rob. You have been listening to Somehow Related with Glenn Robbins and Dave O'Neill. Hang on a second. Remember that cartoon, the Godzilla cartoon? What do you mean he was? Meaning that he did the he, voice. He, he was the voice. He was the voice. Ah. Oh, okay. And he was also the voice of Lurch. And he was he was a big guy, wasn't he? Was he was a big guy. What if he used to act it out in the in the studio? <laughs> yeah. I can remember the Godzilla Obvious. cartoon, but I can't remember Godzilla speaking. I can't remember the cartoon. Because if it was a cartoon, I would have liked to have heard the voice. Because then I would, could have copied it for the make believe. But anyway, yeah, there you go. Sorry about that. For, for the purists out there, they're going to be highly offended by my, my the depiction yeah, yeah. vocally they of are. Godzilla. Godzilla. Godzilla wouldn't be happy. All right, so my Adam's family routine. This is a true story. Okay. Okay. Yep. Well, t- obviously not the whole thing, but true story. I was sitting on a plane and we were waiting to take off. Yep. And you know they were waiting for people to board? Yeah. The announcement comes over on the plane. Yeah. Sorry, we were just waiting for George Adams, Denise Adams, and Michelle Adams to board the plane. And she said, so if the Adams family are already on the plane, please step forward. And I go, I go to the guy next to me, we're waiting for the Adams family. <laughs> so I started going like this. Dun, 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 And then I started singing, they're creepy and they're kooky. They're keeping us on the tarmac. The annoying family, the Adams family. Dun, 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 dun. I'm going to everyone, come on, everyone. Everyone the plane's going, dun, 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 dun. Did the whole plane start singing, doing that? Yeah, yeah, no. And someone, you're like, they're coming, they're coming. And they came out, and the woman was in a wheelchair. I went, oh, no. <laughs> they hid under you my magazine. You could creepy and a kooky because you'd be highly offended, offensive to the... She was in a wheelchair. The, I felt I bad. I to say, you would be a fun guy to hang around with. Oh, but if you're bad. doing stuff like that in the real world, no, 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 hang no. around with Dave. That's the sort of thing he does. Yeah, I made yeah. that up. 